G'day, welcome to Country Music World. I'm Mick. And I'm Jay. Today we're talking to South Australian singer-songwriter, but we're going to talk to her directly from the Mildura Country Music Festival. She's got a great new album out, and she's about to release a brand new single and video clip. Yeah, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share them around, sit back and relax, and let's get to know a little bit more about Angela Eason. Okay, Jay, so, so we're going to cut across to Ange, who will be uh, tucked away in Mildura Country Music Festival right now. Have we got you online right. there, Ange? Hi. Hi, Ange. How you, you going, mate? Welcome to Country <laughs> Good, Music World. Good, how are you? <laughs> Welcome to Country Music World. Thank you. So um, how are you going at Mildura Country Music Festival? Are you having a good time? I am. I'm having a great time. been playing about two gigs a day. Uh, we're up to day six, I think. Um, yeah, we're having a great time. Have you already done a show today? The weather's... Pardon? Have you already done a show today? Yeah, we just did a show at Dockside Cafe, which is a new venue. I've never played there before. Um, so it's very intimate. Um, the weather's not great. It started to rain. We've had a few days of sunshine, uh, which has been lovely, but now it's uh, coming in stormy. So we had a little indoor session today, so that was lovely. Yeah. Sounds nice. I could still handle a wet mill, Jura. It is nice. You know, over up here working, yeah. slaving. <laughs> It'd be nice to be down there doing a couple of gigs a day. It was, I, was, I could so make a comment to that, but I won't. No. I think we'll just move straight past that edge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. uh, tell us what got you into the – you've been around the business a fair while here now, so yeah. tell, us, tell us what got you into country music in the first place. Yes, I have uh, – when I was 10, I um, went to a country music club in Mount Gambier where, um, well, first of all, my mum went there and she came home and was raving about country music and I had, I'd never heard of it before. And uh, she was saying about how much fun it was, people was dancing, people were getting up on stage. And I said, what, does anybody get up on stage? And she goes, yeah, everyone with guitars and instruments. And at the time I played clarinet. And I said, oh, so if I wanted to get up on stage with my clarinet, and I could. And she goes, yeah. So I was... Um, Playing my clarinet along to country music tunes at home, like a dork. And <laughs> I can't even play clarinet very well at all. Um, and I said, so if I wanted to get up and sing, I could. And she said, yeah. And I went, I'm going to do it. So I learnt uh, Olivia Newton's John's Let Me Be There. That was my first ever song I learned. And I went out the next month and from there just kept going, singing the same song. I had a great um, supporter, Herbie Collins, in Mount Gambia, who helped me get on my feet. Yeah, and that was over 20 years ago now. Olivia Newton-John with clarinet. Yeah. So Clar went, clarinet's so a massive instrument for country yeah, music too. Yeah, not good. <laughs> so did you yeah, play every country band needs a clarinet play, don't they? they well, do, I'm, they do. I'm sort of thinking if John, Arnold, if John Arnold's watching this next year, he needs to be booking you as an artist and as a clarinet player in the band. That's right. <laughs> Not at all. I was so bad at it, I gave it up pretty quick. <laughs> well, I suppose that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I'll stick to guitar playing for sure. Yeah. So, Ange, um, let's, let's have a chat about your new music that you've got out. You've got the album yeah. Wanted. You've got a new single out off of that yes. at the moment as well. Yeah. So, How's the music has just out? come out. Uh, it's great. It's called Little Girl Dream. So it's got um, my kids in the video clip and um, my daughter, Chloe, sings on the album at the end of the track as well. So she came into the recording studio um, and we recorded up in Harvey Bay uh, with producer Rob Mackay from the Bobcats. Um, yeah, it's going really well. Everybody loves it and especially Little Girl Dreams. I think this is a song that people are going to love the most on the album. Well, following... Um the last single that you had out, Bad News, I think it was. Yes. That thing, yes, that's that right. thing is pretty, uh, it's kind of a bluesy, rootsy. Yeah, blues, a bit of jazz in there. Yeah, perhaps. there's a few elements going on in that song, yeah. So what, yeah. what are your influences? Like where, when when you when people dive in, you know, and find out a bit about you, they're probably going to come across Bad News and it's, it's, yep. it's you know, it's a very distinct sound. It's great. I mean, Mackay's yeah, done a good thanks. job with it. 
Um, yeah. Um, you sing it well, and the film clip's really cool and sassy and all this sort of stuff. So yeah. What are your influences behind a song like that? Um, that song was actually inspired by someone that we know that isn't a nice person. <laughs> so I'll put her in a song, really. Um, I get influences from everywhere, from my family. Um, I listen to lots of other music. Um, I listen to Miranda Lambert a lot. I absolutely love her and Carrie Underwood. Um, mainly American, I actually listen to. I do listen to a lot of Australian as well, but definitely American I listen to. American country. So, yeah, I draw a bit of inspiration from everywhere. And Bad News, um, when I wrote that, I wanted something that had a different drum beat, a different feel, a bit of a dark song. Um, it was something a bit different. That's not your traditional country music that's out there. Yeah, it's got a cool sound to it, Jay. It's, it's great, man. Um, it just makes you want to sit back and crack a bottle or something. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, it does. It's, it's cool. I enjoyed it the first time I heard it. Now, the, the new single, um, the new well, yeah. doesn't take much for Jay to crack a bottle of wine and listen to a song. I'm awake. <laughs> as long as he's out of bed, you know, then generally that's a good time. Um, so, have you got some aspiration? You've got some high aspirations here for the for the new single. Or are you just yeah. going to, you know, are you going to give I it a just, bit of a shove? I don't even know where it's going to go. You never know where a single is going to go when you put it out there. You kind of, and being an indie artist, you know, it's me who's calling the shots about what's going to be the next single, how the clip's going to go. And you get, I've got some great, um, you know, team support and some people around me that can help me along the way. But you put it out there and just see, see where it goes. Who knows if it's going to hit the charts? Um, who knows if, you know, the... Um, if it's going to get played on CMC, who knows? So you just put it out there to the world and see what comes back. But so far, everyone's just digging that tune. It's tough, isn't it, Edge? Because, yeah. you know, you just you just touched on the fact that you're, you're an indie artist, you're doing it all by yeah. yourself. You know, like I would think nearly the entire planet of independent artists, you're not someone that's sitting there just with an endless supply of funds. And I mean, this. Yeah, that's right. This business costs a lot of money. Like it's a, yeah. it's an ongoing cesspool of money that you just have to keep feeding. Um, and, and it really is as as bad as that sounds. Yeah. I mean, a lot of a lot of singers, yeah. you know, put out a new song and and go and spend thousands of dollars to have a clip. And the quality of your music and the quality of your clips are great. They're they're as yeah. just, they're as great as a, as the major ones that we see. So there's Dang. no there's no denying the fact yeah. that our independent artists aren't putting in their you know they're having yeah. a shot they're not yeah. going down the cheap route they're not getting their iPhone <laughs> and doing their film clip and saying no. hey I'm indie no. they're going all in but to keep that happening once you're in there yeah. it's that's an ongoing process a lot of people don't know so when you sit yeah. down and say I'm doing all this myself man how how do you make the right decision I know it's it's tough. How do, you, how do you even come up with the right? Fortunately, I have a lot of good support around me, so that makes a big difference. And like you said, um, there is a lot of money that gets invested in this. So, But I'm at the same time, if I'm going to put out an album, I want it to be top quality. I don't want to do some half-assed job. Yeah. Can I say that? Yeah, you, you, can, you totally <laughs> no, say that. Well, you actually can say that because you're independent and no one can fire your own ass. <laughs> 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 Which is pretty cool. So now I just threw it all back onto me. So now, look, Ange, you know, what, what do you want to do? So, you know, you've obviously got some goals that you want to do with this new album. Yep. Prior to now, because you started, you know, you started around the game as a little kid and you've come through the ranks to the point that you're putting out good music right now. Yeah. What, are, what are some of the highlights that you've hit so far at this point in your career? And then what do you want to do in the next 20 years of your career? Yeah, so um, there have been a lot of highlights in my career so far. It's quite hard to sum them up. I've gone through the Talent Quest circuit in South Australia growing up um, and also into Victoria. So now I'm at the stage where I'm entering, well, I, sorry, I have entered um, competitions, competitions on a national level. So being in Star Maker was definitely a highlight for me. I also went over to Norfolk Island and won the Trans Tasman Entertainer of the Year in 2010. Um, and also just meeting. Um, you know, people that I grew up with. I'm about to meet somebody. I'm not going to blurt it out because I'm really excited to be meeting them. <laughs> I'm not going to act cool when I meet them. But I get to meet someone soon who I remember when I was 13 watching them perform. And so to now I get to meet them and um, I have to 
Yeah, that's a hard thing. You have to act cool when you meet people in the industry when really inside you're just buzzing to meet them. <laughs> just like just like right now, like Oh, oh yeah, look at you. <laughs> Good on you. Buy these girls up. Buy their albums. We'll let her show. Fuck up. No, right. Oh, we're gonna put you in the YouTube shirt. This is great. <laughs> I think that's the best answer we've ever had. Um, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, you get our, you get our, you get our boat, Ange. Well, Mick, you know, like Ange has had a lot of career highlights. There's some that are musical too. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your achievements in golf ball? What is golf ball? Golf ball. <laughs> so golf ball. You've been on my website, haven't you? <laughs> uh, uh, we're experienced journalists. So, we know how to work here. Golf <laughs> is a sport um, similar to basketball and netball. It's more popular in Europe uh, than Australia, but I represented the Australian team um, when I was 23 and went over to New Zealand and played golf for Australia. So it's it's, it's a cross yeah. between basketball and netball. Yeah, yeah. So, how so, so you shoot into like a yellow hoop thing, so, which is like 12 foot high or something. So what genius said? It's what? kind of like netball and basketball. Let's call it golf ball because that's. I don't know. Shouldn't it be like, I don't know. I just play it. Shouldn't it be like NASCAR? I don't. Ball? I don't play anymore. Yeah. But what happened to bet ball? Bet ball or NASCAR ball? North ball. <laughs> European, see. I think we're confusing. I know. Yeah. What anyway. about what about your dancing? Are you a dancer by any chance, Ange? Have you have you um, you know done any dancing. crazy sort of dancing? Yes. How do you know this? <laughs> well, you, you're not realising who we work for. Well, yeah. You know? <laughs> you're not realising well, I don't how, know what's in the You're not realising how big the country me. music world is, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to do Harlem dancing when I was little. Well, tell us about that. Tell us about that. Um, so I started doing that when I was about eight. What is Harlem dancing? I did it for all. What is it? What is it? I'm not going to show you. <laughs> That's what you want. Is, is it's it Scottish bit, dancing. Everyone yeah. knows what It's a bit like the river dance people, is it? Or? Kind of, but you have tartan quilts and uh, um, like Scottish, Scottish yeah. dancing. Is it hard on the... With bagpipes. So do you still do that or is that something you just... No. Keep? No, I did that when I was younger. So and then I had to choose see that between in that, in that and netball when I chose netball. Well, I'm, just, I'm just thinking, imagine... <laughs> You know, imagine a Scottish dance whilst playing the clarinet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to a country be real catch, wouldn't I? <laughs> I would book that show. <laughs> I would book that show. I'd pay to go and see me, You've probably already seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I'd book that show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. Um, all right. We'll get on to something a little more serious. What do you reckon? <laughs> probably no, probably no, not. You won't stay serious. We'll try anyway. <laughs> um, Ange, have you got any advice for people coming into the industry that uh, they're new and they want to step up and be a country music artist? What would you say to them? Uh, probably that it's hard work and to not give up and just um, practice. Because you're going to get people in the industry – um, that will give you criticism and tell you you're not good enough. Um, you'll, hear, you'll hear absolutely everything, but it's up to you to make it. It's not easy, and it never will be. If it was easy, everybody would, would be doing it. That was the best advice I got. So I think a lot of people just think, oh, I can put up selfies and I'll just do some YouTube videos. But it's a lot of there is a lot of behind-the-scene work that people don't even hear or talk about that actually goes on. So just don't keep up. Work hard. Yes, absolutely. I think I think people do often forget that it takes years and years of practice, a lot of money, a lot of hard hard work. Yeah. To get your, you know, maybe your half hour set or your fifteen minutes of fame on the stage there. So. Yeah. yeah. So well, that's yeah. good advice. Well, the thing with independence is they've got to know every aspect of it. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah. the difference between the indies and and the signed artists, the major artists is the major artists have 100 people in their stable and every one of those 100 people know a certain aspect of the yeah. entire business. Someone like Ange has to know all of those 100 roles and not only know it, yeah. you have to be successful at it and then be and then go up against someone that does know it. So when you, when you yeah. try and push your way in on a certain area of the business and say, I've got the right to be in here, you're coming up against experienced people with nothing else to do. It's yeah, that fine exactly. flaws of your selling point. So 
you know, there's yeah. a there's it's a, it's pretty full on, you know. So I always is, yeah. I always say to people, get in and learn about the business of the music because, you know, if you don't get the business of the music right, you're never really going to get to the music side of it. Yeah, you're spot on. As hard as I spot on. I love, a, yep. I love a quote we had a few weeks ago, actually. It was like, if you can't manage yourself, you, you can't be managed. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and I think starting out as an indie is always a good place to start. Learn learn the business of the business. So. Yeah. I, yeah. I encourage yeah. people I encourage people to, to actually get in, ask questions and, and, uh, and know about the business and Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and there are people out there that do help in the artist. Um, I've had some coaching only probably a year ago about when I was releasing Wanted and where where I needed to go, what I need to do. So that that definitely helped. Um, so there are people out there that do help in the artist as well and give advice about you know managing yourself essentially. Now, where can we find you, Ange? So if the people want to follow the Angela East in the venture. In a where, cabin in Mildura. Yeah, so. Other than the cabin in Mildura, <laughs> where, where do they go and see you? You've got your Facebook, your <laughs> website. So, or, um, or so the best bet is my website, which is www.angelaeason.com. Uh, otherwise, you can jump on like Facebook and find me there, and there's links to my website there as well. Um, yeah, and I'll be playing, I kind of play everywhere. There's lots of gigs that will be happening next year. I can't say too much. Um, after this, I go back home, do some gigs at, sh- gigs at home. Uh, I'll be doing a few trips for songwriting um, and co-writing as well. Um, hopefully, writing for another album that will come out in a few years' time. Um, so just getting the processes there, um, doing some touring. And I'll be at Tamworth, of course, in January. So that'll be fun. I hope they're having some gigs up there. So hope they'll get GG clowns up there. <laughs> clowns? Clowns. That's a bit harsh. Our reputation proceeds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I resemble that. Of course, of course. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Angela Eason, it's an absolute pleasure to uh, sit in and have a yak with you. You're a great girl. You're a great singer. And uh, Thank you. It's, it's a pleasure to have you in our industry. And we're going to make sure all your links and, and all your contacts are below so people that are watching this thing can just click your links and voila, your beautiful face is going to turn up on their computers <laughs> and they can stalk you <laughs> by, the, by the land of social media and all that. We know you've been yeah, busy in Mildura and um, yeah. and we thank you so much for taking some time out of your schedule down there to uh, oh, spend, you're welcome. spend Thanks it here for with us. Me. No worries. Good, Good luck with your channel, guys. No worries, thank Angela. You. Will you take care and we will see you in Tamworth. Yeah, we'll see you then. See you later. Bye. So, Angela and Mick, um, that was a, a lot of fun, that interview, mate. Yeah, she's a fun girl, mate. And uh, Corfball. Corfball. What is Corfball? Well, she still didn't really answer us what Corfball was. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to be Google research on Corfball, yeah. I think, Jay. A clarinet and playing, Highland dancing, Corfball playing. Singer, songwriter. The singer, songwriter, country music singer. Yeah, we yeah we I could manage that. You could. We could uh, we could make something happen. <laughs> Angela, she's a lot of fun. The music man, she's her music is great. She sings really good. Yes. She got a great voice. She got a great attitude. Every time you see Angie out and about around the joint, she's happy. She's talking to everyone. She's having a good time. She's a real little social bunny in amongst the people too. <laughs> she loves sitting down away from the show she'll perform as much as we need but then she's more than happy to come down and just mingle and hang out with the people and and i, I really like that I always love going into tamworth and bumping into her and she's around happy somewhere having a good time with some cool people you know so yeah, awesome. she's um she's doing a really good thing you know and she is mate and don't forget she's got some new music out there she's got an album out she's got the new single and video clip coming out really really soon yeah hey Ange, thanks so much for taking your time out of mildura we know it's a uh, hectic festival down there they do two or three Three gigs a day down there, Jay. Yeah. So, thank you very much for taking some time. And on behalf of Jay and myself and everyone here at the Country Music World, we wish you the best in your future. Go check out Angela Eason. Did you like that interview and want to see some more just like it? Then check them out right there. We've got artist interviews. We check out the festivals that are happening in your area. We'll have a look at the country music birthdays, and then we'll dive back into the history of Australian country music. We've got the CMW Country Artist of the Week chart as voted by you. And we also have heaps of weekly prize giveaways. So give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, because together we can make a difference in the, in the country, country music, music world. world.